Hey everybody, Riffraff here, back with another Starfield Outpost build. Um, so, actually in my ship right now, the Argos, um, parked here on the uh, landing pad, and uh, outside is my outpost. Uh, so this outpost has a giant mega tower in, as the central part of it. Uh, it's 17 stories tall, um, there's 13... 13 floors that are actually occupied, and then it's got like four floors that are the base. So let's uh, go outside and check it out. Alright. So, yeah, we are uh, on an airless moon uh, with very low gravity. So, Basically what I've got here is a huge mining and industrial production uh, outpost. And of course I've gone into the console and just completely broken the uh, the build limit. This, this camp's probably four or five times the build limit right now. And it's actually not 100% complete. There's a few areas that I have not finished yet. But I've been working on it for about a month, so I figured I'd show you guys. So I was going to show you this tower back over here. So the, it was the, actually a tower like this that I found on my first game that made me start thinking about how to build a tower like this. Uh, it just so happened that when I got into this game, this is my new game plus nine now. So finally got all my powers up to where they're going to be ten by the time I do all the temples in this game. So I figured I'm going to hang out in this game and play for a while, do some building and stuff, because I didn't do any building in the other new games. I uh, just went in, got the artifacts, all the temples, and went to the next, uh, the next um, game. Alright, so let's uh, have a look at what we got going here. Um, I would appreciate a like and a comment if you guys uh, like this video. It, really helps a lot in getting my video out there, otherwise uh, really nobody ever gets to see these videos, so that would be much appreciated, and I do read the comments, and I will try to answer any questions you guys have, so let's uh, look around on our landing pad to start with, so I have a little satellite communication thing here, which I added some extras on, kind of like a uh, for communicating with the ships, I guess. Well, I'm going to do this at night. Hopefully it's not too dark, but now that we have a brightness slider, I actually did slide up the brightness a bit. Then they've got some cargo over here waiting to be loaded up. And then this is the fueling station. Um, so this is the main pad where people come and go. Of course, you've got all the cargo pads, but that's just for the cargo weight cargo craft coming and going. Um, so this is the main entrance here, which leads back to the thing, back to the tower. Um, if you're a visitor, you would go in through the airlock here. Employees are going to actually go down this way. Um, so there's an employee entrance down there that they would go in through. But we're going to go through the visitor entrance, so let's uh, go in here. So first thing you're going to get when you get to the visitor's entrance is a little security checkpoint. Well, you'll have to come in and check in. And they've got their little armory back here. Alright, and then once you've gotten through the security checkpoint, you get into the skyway. So, or the sky bridge, I guess is, would be what I call it, um, which leads down to the tower. So, it's uh, designed so you can get a pretty good look at the tower, and you can also come over and look at all the production facilities down below. And of course, it's pretty swanky because you got your business customers coming in this way, so you want it to look nice. 
come all the way down to the skyway to the receptionist. Um, so this is where the receptionist is. And tell her who you are, who you're coming to see. Yeah, got a few mods which add some pretty nice stuff. Um, and then there's a lot of stuff I made myself. Like all this is actually made out of vanilla assets that I just kind of merged all together other than these dividers in the back. Alright, then the next room that you come into here is the uh, just kind of the waiting room. You come in and have you a snack and wait for whoever is coming out to meet you. And then here's the employee entrance. So we'll go see the outside part of that right there. And then here's where you start going either up or down in the tower. So these two buildings are the actual tower. Like I said, you got stairs going up and stairs going down. So we're going to go down to start with. Um, so I took these dividers and blocked off all the uh, the areas that you could fall um, since we don't really have rails or anything to put in here. All right, so the first uh, little room down here is just the, the management office. So this is where the business management people work. Ready for action, Captain. And there's our engineer. All right, so that's the business office. And then you come out to another room. So we got a couple of rooms coming off here. So there is a, this is Freestar Space. So there's a Freestar Ranger assigned here. And this is his area. So this is his little office where he would meet people. Again, so this this is like, I need, I need to do some more junk decorating in here. So like I said, it's not completely 100% done. There is some areas that need to ha need some more junk decorating. All right, and this is the Freestar Rangers living quarters back here. And he's got his little armory back here. All right, and then over across from that is the infirmary. So this is where the dock works. Get her, you come up here and see her. So we got the infirmary. All right, and then downstairs, so this floor is the living area for everybody. So in here we've got the kitchen, which again kind of needs some more junk stuff. Need to figure out how to fill those fridges. They're not cooperating as far as putting stuff inside of them, so it's gonna that's gonna be a task. Anyway, so here's the kitchen with some dining area. Then you got some more dining area here. And this is the uh, barracks for the uh, lower level people that work here. So everybody gets a bunk in a in a um, locker. Alright, and then and here is the bathroom. So we got the bathroom over here. Some toilets. And then back here are a couple of showers for them. So those are the bathrooms. Alright, and then here is where the higher level people that work here live. So they kind of get a little private area. Semi-private anyways. where our security chief lives. I don't know if we'll see her when we're running through here. Oh yeah, and then over here, so this is their rec room, which again, this is another area that needs junk decorating. Other, other than the junk decorating, it's done though. Always a pleasure, Captain. 
All right, and let's go downstairs. So downstairs is where you start getting into the manufacturing area. So this first room in here is their bio manufacturing, organic manufacturing. So this is kind of uh, really more R&D for them. They're planning on moving this out somewhere else because right now they have to, you know, bring in all the water and nutrients and everything from off world since this is a dead moon. So, but like I said, they're kind of getting ramped up to start a, a new outpost somewhere else where they don't have to bring all that stuff in. So this is the maintenance workers area. This is where the maintenance workers work. All right. And then back here is just a storeroom and they do do some uh, ammo manufacturing back here. So these are ammo manufacturing machines, but mostly this is a storeroom. And then there's a airlock out the back there. All right. Okay, and then in here is just where you're getting into manufacturing. So these are actually just the standard manufacturing machines that I use shrunk down in the console and then I use the console to move them in here. And it's kind of weird because these these little control stands are actually separate from the main piece. So I had to move them both in s different, separately. Anyway, so this is a manufacturing room. Another manufacturing room. And then more manufacturing. This is kind of manual manufacturing because they got just workbenches here where they can do everything by hand. And then here is the control room. So this is the control room for everything here. So I kind of made these. These are actually several different pieces that I've put together uh, myself. So yeah, if you look at them, so it's the the back of that freezer, and then the screens that I shrunk down and put on here, and then these little computer pieces, and these are actually uh, read some of the resources. I can't remember which ones they are. Yeah, so that's what they are that I just blew up in the in the um, console and put them on there. All right, and then this leads out to the outdoor manufacturing area. Here's where they have all the outdoor manufacturing of the full size machines. And up above this is where the sky bridge comes in. So you can see the sky bridge has one uh, support in the middle of it. production, storing, storage. You can kind of see all the stuff out, out in the rest of the area. Yeah. Tons and tons of production through here. goes around to the back where uh, we saw that airlock in the back of the tower in that storeroom and then this just leads down to the ground so out here is a little construction yard and then we've uh, got some other facilities so this thing this thing's actually two different preset pieces that I merged together because I wanted to get this crane over the uh, construction yard here. We've got our mining uh, through here. Um, and then 
there's the base of our tower, and they've got a little construction shed here. So this building and this building over here, I actually have not done any decorating in yet. So yeah, that's the uh, construction yard shed, and they've got a little garage over here where they can park and work on their vehicles. This building here is going to be where all the miners and the workers that live in this area or work out here or live. Um, so inside the tower there, you've got all the management and the uh, and the people that do the manufacturing live in there. And then out here will be where all the miners and the people that work on the on the machinery out here live. But, like I said, I haven't really done anything in this building yet. Alright, let's go fly it. So there's that, that back airlock there. So you can see, like I said, there's about four stories worth of base there, and then the tower itself is about is a, a total of 13 floors. I guess that's bad luck, right? 13 floors? I didn't think about that. See, there's quite a bit of stuff up on top of the tower. Let's see, over there is the uh, helium 3 fields. Uh, so, all in all, there's 10 resources, four that are, that are produced here, and then four that are, uh, six that are brought in. So this is the, this area right here is the employee entrance. <coughs> and there's the catwalk that leads back to the, uh, back to the um, landing pad. So let's head in here. Back where we started in here. So yeah, this is the waiting room where we first came into the tower. So let's start heading up now. All right. So right in here is just a conference room where they can meet with their customers, or you know, the employees can use it to meet in. Just a basic conference room. They've got. A lot of their stuff they make here on display. Show off to their customers. <coughs> All right. Sorry about that. I got a bit of a cough right now. All right, so this is the main security room in here. So this is where the outpost security works out of. They got to monitor stuff, work on their weapons, stuff like that. <coughs> Alright, and then this is the uh, the general manager's office. Again, this is another one that really needs some more junk decorating. It's got all the basic stuff, but not everything it needs. So this is the general manager's office. Alright, and then up here is another sh security checkpoint because this is the entrance into my personal home, so uh, the entire top part of the uh, tower is my player home. Alright, so let's head up there. So the first thing you come into in my player home is just my trophy room. So this room's not filled out yet. This is um, I'm just basically filling this out as I play through stuff, so um, I've really spent more time, far more time, 
building this outpost than I have playing in this game, even though I've been in the game for about a month now. Um, so I have gotten all the uh, artifacts and finished the main quest line, and uh, so far, like the faction quest, the only two that I've done is uh, the Vanguard and the uh, Freestar Ranger. And I've been making some little displays, so like this is all the stuff I got from NASA. There's the Mercury spacesuit. And over here is my um, uh, Starborn uh, armor and my Constellation armor. And collecting the snow globes and putting them on here. This is just uh, different special weapons that, that I, I've been getting. It's like these are the, uh, the weapons from the Emissary and the Hunter. Uh, I can't remember what I got these weapons from. And there's the, uh, the experimental weapon that you get when you uh, are doing the main quest. And then this is the one you get from doing the Ashta killing quest. Alright, so this is my uh, Vanguard questline stuff. So I spawned in this this uh, one of the um, de deciphering or uh, one of the code generating machines. And then this is the ambassador outfit that I found in the uh, embassy, embassy. This is the gun you got at New Londinium. There's the Vanguard outfit and the Vanguard spacesuit you get right away. The Xenomorph data. Here's the code cards that you got from the different factions. And Orlaze's uh, ID that you had to get for Bay Victus. So this is the uh, research um, machine that um, Percival uh, did the analysis on the data sample you brought them, um, which I didn't realize. I spawned this in using the console, and you can actually use it as a research out, uh, station. Um, and I didn't realize it at first, but later on I realized that this is actually the same research station that you get on the frontier. So anyways, here's Hadrian's uh, gene tag, and got all the samples that I gave to uh, Percival here. And there's, uh, what is his name, Kaiser's uh, battery that he needed, and his schematics, and there's uh, v Victus's uh, recording when he realized the truth about the, about the xenomorphs. This is the uh, outfit I got from New Londinium. And of course the uh, Mantis outfit, a few of the data pads that you came with that quest line. I just actually did that today. Alright, so this is my Freestar quest line stuff. So, yeah, we got the deputy outfit, the regular ranger outfit, and then the outfit the marshal wears. Which also, uh, Sam Coe's wife wears that. These are the, uh, ranger, uh, spacesuit. This is from the Ranger spacesuit you get at the end. And then the two guns, Dead Eye and, and uh, Justifier. Which is really lame. These are not legendary. Oh yeah. And then the uh, the hat you get from uh, I guess he wasn't a colonel. What was he? A major that you get at the end when you kill him? The major of the first. And then of course the uh, the hat that Ron Hope was wearing when you kill him. Alright, this is just a bunch of stuff that I got when I was doing all the miscellaneous quests around um, New Atlantis. Oh yeah, and this is the collector's outfit. I put a couple of his statues with him. And then, I can't remember what this quest line was called, uh, but the one with the clones. So, yeah. Genghis Khan's outfit and that Queen's outfit. I can't remember what her name was. Uh, 
And they were all using old earth weapons, so I took a bunch of their weapons, the old earth weapons, and put them up here. Along with a bunch of their data pads. And then the two uh, sets of harvested organs that I found at the end of the, uh, the dungeon. In the very last locked room. So yeah, this is my trophy room. Which, like I said, I will by the, eventually have this all filled out. As I do more quests and stuff. So this is my work room here. So this is my basically kind of my personal um, work room. So every uh, every outpost that I use as a working outpost, I have one room where I can do everything that I need to do in it, which is this this uh, outpost. It's this room here. Um, so I've got. So this is where I put all my uh, contraband. I don't actually sell any of it. Just stick it in there. Then I've got my dump chest for different things that I want to keep. Like this one is just full of junk. And they've been edited in the uh, console to have store tons and tons of stuff. I think they store about 10,000 pounds each. <clears throat> so where I put all my grenades. And then uh, I do farm XP and uh, gold in here. So this is where I farm the XP, turn in all the resources into materials, and then I can actually sell it right there. And then up here is the... Uh, so each one of these chests uh, holds one resource. And they are the end of the resource storage chains for all the stuff that either is made here or brought in so if I need to go to another outpost and to build and I want to take some resources with me I can just come up here and grab stuff out of these chests and they will just automatically refill so yeah like I said everything I need to do in this this uh, in this uh, outpost can be done in this one room right here as you saw, there was also a bed down there for getting the XP buff. And there is a door to get in here, right here, from outside. And right on the roof there is the uh, outpost beacon. So that's where, when I travel into this outpost, I appear on the roof of this building. Alright. <clears throat> we'll go out there and check it out in a second. So this is my personal quarters here. So first area up here is my living area. So I got my kitchen here. And I took all the uh, took all the ship models and put them in this uh, display chest here, which took forever because again, yeah, I totally had to do all that with the console, moving these things around to get them into the right spot. But I thought it looked pretty good when I was done. So got our table here, set for two, because uh, Andresia also lives here in this uh, outpost. So her and I live up here. And we've got our space hydro growing uh, outfit thing going on here. Uh, and then this is our recreational area just sit and watch some movies and stuff so over here kind of got a bunch of just explorer things oh, and I took one of those lamps and blew it up really big in the uh, console just to kind of see I wish the the light didn't seem to doesn't seem to work once you blow it up so it's not lit up like it normally is I think it still looks pretty cool kind of like a big aquarium a couple of other aquariums here and here I've got a little uh, model mech which was a big mech that I shrunk down and put in here and then I I embedded a light in the base of this that shines on it and that's what's lighting it up because yeah when it didn't have the light you couldn't see what was in here because all the reflection on the, the thing all right and then my desk over here Bunch of various stuff here. 
So I found an extra motorcycle. So I, in the first game that I played a lot, I only found three of these motorcycles. But in this one, there was an extra one that I found. Here's the lamp as it normally appears. All right. So back over here is my bedroom. So I've got an area where I can kind of keep a monitor things in the going on in the outpost. My bed. And my bathroom back here. So I didn't have there, there was no mod that gave us any showers yet. So I actually had to search through the console and find this shower and spawn it in. Then move it around using console commands because like I said since it's not a normal outpost item you couldn't move it as you normally would. So this is my bedroom. Alright. And then this is kind of what I call the garden. So it's just a nice place to come sit and read. And I left it open around the edges so you could kind of go out and get a good look at the outpost and see everything that's going on out there. Also get a good look at the top of the tower from here too. Because we're still not quite at the top yet. Alright. So the next room is my armory. Which is just filled to the brim with stuff. Again, got the all the old earth weapons here. Oh, except for I had to take the um, had to take the uh, assault rifle to give it to one of my followers. So I'm still looking for another assault rifle to put back on there. So this is the armory. Uh, this is another one of those ammo producing machines. So this is the one thing that's not in my room. This is the ammo that I use the, uh, in my normal weapon. So sometimes I do have to run down here to get ammo. This is the Mark M suit, which is the suit that I'm wearing. Added by a mod. Really like that. That outfit, the Mark M. More armory stuff. All right, and then up here is the armillary. I'm not sure how you say that. Fortunately, I can't put all the pieces on it because if I do, then I travel to the Unity. So it's only got the pieces that I brought from Constellation on it. All the other pieces are in a chest downstairs. All right, and then next is Andreja's room. So this is Andreja's room. So again, got her a nice little bathroom, her bed. She's got her own little personal armory because, you know, Andreja likes her weapons. And then over here she's got a big old shrine to the uh, Great Serpent. Because, like I said, this is Nobody comes up here except for me and her, so she's able to be who she wants to be up here, and she can have her shrine, and nobody will know. All right, so let's go out to the outside of the tower here. This is how you get into the roof of the tower. catwalks going all over the tower. For some reason the robots are always up here. So there's the very pinnacle of the tower. And then like I said, here's my outpost beacon. So when I uh, fast travel in, I land right here. Next to my workroom. Alright. Yeah, like I said, you get a nice good view of everything out here live it up here. Alright. Let's keep on moving. Let's uh, have a quick look around. Another one of the robots. 
robot standing over there. This unit is performing a software post here. Please do not attempt further conversation. There's a little guard frame there. Got some more uh, mechanical stuff up here. Satellite dish. And some more mechanical stuff up here. Wow, what is everybody doing over here? Wow. So here's where all our people are. <laughs> I was wondering where everybody was at. I wonder why they're all up there. Okay. Uh, and then this goes to the very pinnacle of the uh, tower. So this is it. So... Like I said, we're actually 18 floors up off of the uh, <clears throat> off the ground when we're right here, because the floor right underneath it is the 17th. Well, it's the 13th floor, but like I said, with the base, it's 17 floors up. Yeah, real nice view up here. And there's actually one more room up here very top that you have to access through this airlock here. And that is just another control room. Couldn't really decide what I wanted up here, so I just made another control room. Sunk some switches in the wall that actually don't do anything. They're purely uh, for looks. But I thought it looked cool, so... why I have them all over the place, I guess. Alright. So that is it. Anyways, like I said, if you have any questions about how I did this, uh, just ask me. Uh, if this video does well, I'll probably do a tutorial video on how to make this tower. Um, you don't need any mods to make the tower. The, the tower itself is all done with vanilla stuff using standard game mechanics you just got to know how to do it um, but I would recommend that you do have access to the console because it's very easy to screw up and then one of the, the uh, bases for these buildings will reappear if you do screw up and the only way to get rid of it without starting over from scratch is to go into the console and disable it So, I would recommend if you want to build a tower like this that you at least um, are willing to go into the console and fix something if it, if it accidentally breaks. Uh, but other than that, I think that's about it. Uh, like I said, I would appreciate a comment and a uh, like. That does go a long way to uh, get these videos out there. So, you know, I'm hoping people will actually see this. I guess that's about it. So, riffraff out. Um, I will see you in the next one.